very sick for a couple of weeks. Um, you know, the usual incredible pain um, and couldn't even get out of bed, couldn't really go down the stairs. And then after a couple of weeks, I felt a lot better and thought, okay, it's been terrible, but I'm getting better. And then everything actually got much worse in the second month. I feel like an invalid that doesn't really know if there will be something different. So it's this process of waiting, but not knowing whether the waiting will lead to a better outcome, because no one really knows what is causing a lot of the symptoms. And my life, you know, my life has shrunk basically to my house and, you know, a short distance away. So London has disappeared and my life as an academic has become very, very difficult to, to do because all the things I used to be able to do very easily are now a huge struggle. don't have very much evidence of how many people develop long COVID and we don't know the range of problems that they have. We know that some people have reported breathlessness, some people have reported difficulties with their heart, but also we, we know that some people also have developed depression maybe because they haven't been able to manage their symptoms. Um, or it could have been something totally separate that, you know, because they haven't been able to contact their, you know, they have a lot of social support and that sort of thing.